Hey guys, this is Veron from Secret of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a colored pencil drawing. It's not fan art for once. And we are also busting out some pretty old sketch pads over here. So the sketch pad is something that most of you probably wouldn't have seen at this point, especially if you joined the channel towards the last year or two. But I used to use the sketch pad for school and it's a really nice sketch pad to be honest. It has, it has nice paper, it's pretty thin. Um, you can do a little bit of water work with it, though I don't recommend it since it will buckle under layers of watercolor. But if you just use like really simple studies with watercolor or color blocking, you can handle that to some extent. You can do markers on it. And recently, as I found out, you can do card pencils with it. So I had this really sudden urge to just work in what with colored pencils and knowing me and my impatience with colored pencils, I had to ride the wave of that inspiration and do something with it. So one of my roadblocks with colored pencils is that I really don't know what kind of paper to use with it. I know a lot of artists use this certain type of paper but I don't have access to that right now. So I looked through my old sketchbooks and I wanted to find a paper that doesn't do coarse like watercolor paper because that just eats up the colored pencil. It looks nice and it handles the colored pencil well and the grain looks fun on it sometimes but it eats it up and I didn't want to use like a smooth bond paper type of paper because number two that really won't blend and yeah and it w probably wouldn't handle the layering well. So I found this sketchbook. It had a little bit of texture on it and I was kind of proven right. So we are using the Canson sketchbook. It's mixed media. Um, it's 90 GSM if I'm not mistaken. And you saw the cover of it earlier. It's pretty cheap from what I remember and you can easily find this in your art supply stores or bookstores. Uh, since we're in the Philippines or I'm in the Philippines, I bought this from National Bookstore to be exact. It's somewhere along like your usual sketchbook area. So just look for that bound cover. And I like I liked it quite a bit. Even when I was in college, I liked using this sketchbook. And I guess I'll be using it for more colored pencil drawings in the future as well. So the character that we're drawing today is one of my original characters. He originally debuted on this channel as a Lantern Prince type of character. And I remember drawing him for New Year 2019 or 2018. I'm not really sure anymore. I might just insert a picture somewhere in the video. But I drew him for New Year. Back then, he really wasn't one of my original characters. He was just someone that I drew with this certain design for this certain event and I intended to leave him be like that. And somehow I ended up using him. <laughs> so I drew him again recently when I was playing around with watercolors and I was trying to, to do more dramatic lighting. And since this character is a lantern prince of sorts and he always carries a lamp with him, I felt that he was a good subject to use to do more harsher, more dramatic, more intense shadows. So I guess now he's officially part of my character roster. And you might see him pop up every now and then whenever I do more lighting based stuff probably like today. Uh, especially since I had this brilliant idea of drawing or doing card pencils with more interesting-ish lighting. But yeah. <laughs> so I mentioned that I had to ride this wave of inspiration or drive to do colored pencils. So if you've been watching my channel, you know that my main medium is watercolor. Uh, it used to be digital art, but it's watercolor. And that simply because watercolor satisfies my need to be fast, to see results quickly, um, it, aside from the colors that it produces in general and how 
easy it is to manipulate for me given that I can still learn a lot of techniques for watercolor and I don't really do much detailed work with it but I really love that medium <laughs> and card pencil is just slow like it covers uh, it doesn't cover a lot of ground quickly uh, it entails a lot of layering as you can see right now uh, what I do with this drawing is I put the light the yellow around to indicate the light areas first and then I did like a very basic like underpainting of the background with the colors and now I'm doing a more intense version of it and then now I have to blend those together to try to make them look like they're part of the same scene and it's very intensive and it took me two or three days to finish I think but that's a long time for me. I mean, a two or three day painting with watercolor would be really detailed for me already. I probably would have been doing something realistic looking or something like that. So doing card pencil stuff is a is a patience challenge for me, which is great because I do enjoy it. And I mean, not the challenge part. <laughs> I do enjoy working with colored pencils. And I think that's partly because I'm using pretty high-end materials, so it's pretty painless for me, but I enjoy seeing how it works and feeling how it works, and yeah, I just have to fight the urge to be like, it needs to be done, it needs to be done, why isn't it done yet, type of feeling, and yeah, it's fun, it's definitely fun, I really love how it turned out, it blends really well, it layers fantastically. I feel like I could still do a lot more if I just delve in more into the techniques regarding colored pencils, but you know, I'll get there eventually, slowly. I mean, that's why my digital art has been pretty sparse, especially last year and the two years ago. So digital art used to be my main medium, and I would pump out drawings with it like once a week, or probably more, especially when I was into role-playing on Demon Art. I would do like drawings for characters and events really often and I'd be able to finish a drawing in three hours and I think I've mentioned this quite a bit in my digital works but you know it used to be my main medium and then I got into college actually and I was still doing digital art back then and then I got into design, into a design course where I was introduced to watercolors and I fell head over heels for it. And now my digital paintings are slow. It takes me 10 plus hours to finish a drawing or more. It just, again, probably not a lot to more experienced artists, but that's a lot for someone who used to just draw stuff in 3 hours and call it a day. So, <laughs> like, colored pencils in, is in this, like, middle ground between painful and months on end and quick and fast and light and easy so I'm enjoying it I just can't do it back to back <laughs> I mean the Florida series that I did last year really helped me out a lot so I did this series last year where I did pretty small drawings of flowers or flower based drawings and the goal was just to use colored pencil or if I do use some other medium it really wouldn't take over the card pencil. So the card pencil were the stars. And I feel like the card pencils really, you know, uh, grew on me when I did that project because I, I could see my progress from day one to day, or from month one to 12th month, and to see my techniques evolve and to see what I can do with card pencils. So they're fun. They're a fun medium. They take a bit of patience and I feel like the more calmer people, they're very relaxing. I know that my best friend really loves them because they they act as like a therapeutic, calming thing to them. And as you can tell by my videos and the way that I speak, I, I, I speak pretty fast. I acknowledge that. Um, I'm not really a calm, soothing, um, patient, I will immerse myself into the depths of the world type of person. <laughs> I'm very fast-paced. I'm pretty impatient when it comes to drawing. So, yeah. 
Colored pencils is probably and oil. Colored pencils and oils are like probably my nightmare materials, but I really enjoy working with colored pencils. So in other topics, since we have six minutes ish left, um, just to like put a marker on the day. So a couple of hours ago, since it's midnight, um, the Philippines entered the general community quarantine status, which means that for the hot spots known as Metro Manila, um, most businesses are allowed to operate at a fifty percent capacity, and um, people. Like this transport, public transport and on the road, though it's not the entire range of transportation. Not to mention you have to, to deal with social distancing and the routes are very limited, but yeah, there are all of those issues. But in general, shops are allowed, are allowed to open again. Uh, restaurants ideally should only be for takeout and all of that. Because again, it's not like the Philippines has flattened the curve or that we've stomped out the cases of COVID. But uh, I guess they did it for economic reasons and the, the lockdown has been spanning for so long already that keeping it like that probably isn't helping anymore. I mean, again, there could be a lot to be said about the government could have done in terms of what is happening during the lockdown but those are things that should be discussed in a video dedicated to that or in a video that's more in-depth and precise and not over an art drawing I guess but I mean that's just to put a marker on the date it's currently June 1 or it was June 1 a while ago so We've entered general community quarantine, and we'll see how it goes, I guess. So I guess for now, if you're not in the Philippines, since we're on the same boat over here, or if, even if you are, actually, um, let me know how you've been doing. Has the cases in your area been none down, stomped out? Are you one of the lucky ones in New Zealand right now who has an amazing government response and just completely wipe up COVID. Uh, just let me down let me know how you're doing. Usually you know, I'd like to see how you guys are doing. Especially with this entire thing going on. I mean the US too has a really big thing going on right now, but again, I am not from the US, so I don't have much insight or um, perspective into that. But I know something quite big going down over there. <sighs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> I didn't expect to talk much in this video to be honest. Um, the reason the video is slightly late is because aside from me going over the video several passes to see what I can trim down, I've had a little bit of a slight sickness that isn't really a certain pandemic related but or like, I should take care of my eating habits more related, but mental health, I'm fine and everything, but I have a slight physical hiccup here that really doesn't um, allow you to sit at your desk for too long, editing a video or doing a voiceover. So yeah, I had to delay that a little bit, or because of that, rather. Uh, I was, I was thinking I'd just be like quiet for a bit and let the music play, which I guess I still can do. You have two minutes left. Um, but I really enjoyed this drawing though, so like, I want to keep talking. <laughs> so one thing I still want to learn more about when doing card pencil is to do more burnishing related techniques. So burnishing is um, when you just fill the grain of the paper with color to the, to the point that it's almost smooth to be honest. So I'm kind of scared to do that since, uh, I don't know, I feel like I could break the pencil or something or I could use up my pencil quickly because of that. Um, and I'm not sure if 
I kind I kind of managed to do it a little bit, just simply by layering constantly. But that's still something I need to learn. So over here at now we're using poster paint. Uh, it's in, it is in pretty gross a gross state that I opened it, but I managed to mix it back together with water. And since I don't have any kind of a gouache or white paint that would lay on top of card pencils easily, I remember it had white poster paint, so I'm using that to do some extra highlights around the character, just to give him a little bit more distinction from the background. And here's the preview. So we're done. Yay. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please do like the video if you did. Um, Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Please stay safe out there, and I'll see you around.